It's not so much a job being an RSPCA inspector, it's a life choice. You deal with the hard stuff and seeing animals in a really bad way. I wanted to make a difference, that's why I joined this job. I wanted to be able to make a difference to those animals that, that needed help. The ones like Otter and his brothers and sisters. It's quite scary to think what could have been. In September 2022, a member of the public came across five abandoned puppies. They'd just been put in the woods, clearly probably to die, because you don't put puppies in the woods to be found necessarily. That member of public had scooped them up and taken them straight down to vets. They were really cold when they got there. So we think that that was probably the day that they were born. And their umbilical cords were still wet. Out in the woods on their own, they would have been so vulnerable. If they weren't found, then they would have died. It's simple as that. There are places of safety where puppies could be taken knowing that they are going to be found but to put a litter of puppies in a woods to me that says that that person wasn't planning on them being found so they are very lucky that those people just happened upon them there were five puppies all together two little boys otter and lenny and then there were three girls b lily and clover sarah found homes for four of the five puppies but one of them stole her heart they were all black apart from Otter. Otter was chocolate brown and I was immediately drawn to him. Yeah, he was just tiny. He literally sat in the palm of my hand. He was that small. And I kept hold of Otter and hand reared him. Was up every two hours with him, round the clock. Took him to work with me in the van. But he was just the happiest, chunkiest little puppy you could ever meet. He, he was always, you know, running around with his little stubby legs. Hand rearing puppies is something Sarah does voluntarily on top of her normal duties with the RSPCA. I love hand rearing, it's just pure joy to me. Seeing them go from this teeny tiny little vulnerable nugget to this bouncy, healthy, cheeky little puppy, it's just the best feeling. And then yeah, he got to eight, nine weeks old and he was ready to go, he didn't need me anymore. So Tom, who works at our call centre, is one of the managers, messaged me to say that he was interested in rehoming him and could they meet him. So we had a dog, a staffy called Bob, sadly passed away and it just kind of left a hole, especially for my dad. He was devastated by it. So we were looking for puppies and we just kept seeing the otter news and it just felt a bit like fate. So I took him over to Tom's house and he met their family and it was, yeah, it was perfect for him. As soon as he just waddled over to me, <laughs> he's just so cute and fluffy and lovable. Otter means the world to us and his little family. <laughs> he's very much filled the hole left by Bob. Um, he travels everywhere with my dad, whether it's to the shops or to the doctors or anything. Everything my dad does has to be judged by, can Otter also do this? So it just makes me angry that people choose to abandon dogs and dump them in situations rather than just trying to hand them in and seek help that they need. It just shows how much the RSPCA is needed because they essentially rescued four lives that day that could have ended very badly for all four of the involved. It could have been a very different story for him and you can see now when you see him running around how happy he is and how loved he is by everyone. Today, Otter is being reunited with Sarah 14 months after hand rearing him. Yeah. Who is he? Hi. Just the loveliest little dog now. He's so happy. And it's nice because I get to see him grow up. It's almost like he's still my child. And I always say that to Tom. I always say, how is my child? <laughs> how is my baby? We're immensely grateful to Sarah for everything she's done. It must have been difficult for getting up every two hours through the feeding and everything, but I'd like to think we've repaid her back by giving him a better life than what he could have had if she never stepped in. And she still gets to see him all the time. Sadly, Otter's case isn't unique. The RSPCA have seen a shocking 25% rise in the number of abandonments in the last year alone. It's frustrating when people abandon animals in a way that they 
won't be found or shouldn't be found. We're seeing it more and more and they're being dumped or left in more callous ways as well, which is frustrating because we know we're here to help. If you need to rehome an animal, if you need to give them up, call somebody, go into the vets, you're not gonna get judged for it. The job that I do, we don't get a massive amount of thanks. Just keep going and keep going and keep knocking on doors and keep going and don't really think about it too much. But then when I get to see Otter with Tom in his loving family, seeing him as an adult dog, knowing that all that he's been through to get to this point, and that's all the thanks that I'll ever need because he's happy and healthy and they adore him. He's part of their family. To help other animals like Otter, check out the links in the description below or contact your local animal rescue centre and ask how you can lend a hand. Please subscribe to the channel to help me help more rescue animals here on Rescue Vet.